everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is Nate. I am going to go over with you uh, a pretty cool little thing I made uh, last night. And to tell you the truth, it was actually in the early, the wee hours of the morning. Uh, but here we go. So I'm going to skip over the D&D Monster Creator and the basic example of this. Uh, I'm just going to go directly to the YouTube Knowledge Agent part. Um, so, this is an example of what's called retrieval, uh, retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, um, with Tree of Thought. And I could even po point, uh, point this at my own videos, um, but I can point it at any YouTube video, and this uses the YouTube's transcript API to get, uh, to get back the transcript from the video. So if it has captions, you can use this tool with it. Um, and you need to first put in the YouTube URL. So you enter that in and it will start to collect the transcripts. Um, okay, it's using, so it's using ChromaDB and ChromaDB has its own model, MiniLM, uh, for doing embeddings. So this is fully, I, I do need to mention that this is fully uh, uh, local. Um, I ran this setup and it set up this whole thing where uh, we're running a local LLM and we're using Chroma locally and we've got and we've got our, our prompts obviously here. Uh, so these are our, our prowl scripts that we're using. Um, we can just directly access them. Uh, this is the script. I won't go over this too much because I just kind of wanted to show I wanted this video to be a short one just about how to how to use this cool little thing. So I ran that already, right? Now I can ask it anything about video. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through a little process. And this process, uh, you can see, well, OK, this is actually debug output. But it's interesting because it goes over um, a little bit of the information about what it's what's actually uh, thinking about. So while that's doing that, uh, let's look over here at the uh, Taught test. So TOT test, um, we have it thinking logically. It creates a, a list of critical questions. And then it runs the each tool with those critical questions. Um, and it runs it through the rag answer script. And then it finally does a request reminder and does a final summary. So if it generates four questions, then it's going to do this other script four times. And what's this other script? This other script is answering from memory, and it does a recall from your critical questions from the YouTube video. So, um, and it does an answer. And then it goes through the answers and summarizes all those answers into one final answer. So uh, the man speaking is a co-owner and co-manager of Voice Swap, discussing how 23 of his albums have taken down off the streaming platforms due to abnormal activity. He's expressing disappointment about video, which contains bad news for musicians, uh, specifically about Spotify removing streams and following up with an investigation. Steve, a um, maniacal turtleneck billionaire, <laughs> maniacal turtleback, turtleneck billionaire, is curating a significant portion of the iTunes music library, earning high fees for distribution. Um, so it goes into, so basically what this, what's going, what you're seeing here is that it's actually answering uh, a few questions that are generated from my question. So I ask what it's about and okay, so check this out. Here's the transcript. Oh, oops, derp. Here's the transcript of the video. Jesus. All right. So. This is what we're working with here. Um, so we could actually ask it about, uh, who knows, FIFA. Um, you know, hey, what happened to FIFA? And it's going to go through this little process again. And it takes a sec because it's going through that and it's generating these questions. So we're going to take a moment here while that's going. And I'm just going to output uh, print 
r.completion. So that's the completion of the return variable uh, which we're getting back. So um, let me go ahead and clear that output. And OK, the user asks about what happened to FIFA. The context suggests that FIFA made $7.6 billion in revenue in 2022, but only $163 million of that went to the players. The city hosting the World Cup incurred financial loss. The analogy between being a professional musician and a professional soccer player is problematic, as musicians may pay for listeners to access their music while, P while FIFA makes a significant profit. Interesting, OK. I'm not sure what that's completely about, but whatever. Here's the actual thought process that went on. This is it filling out the script because Prowl does basically what it, you're, you're, you're creating a form for the LLM to fill out and then using that information from the form and the instructions on that form to fill out uh, and then it comes back to you in a nice, um, in a nice JSON object actually. Uh, but you can access the completion. Like if I wanted to access the JSON object, it would be get Um, and that would output this whole thing here. Um, if I wanted to see the actual like full, I don't know, full on history of a variable, um, var crit call answer. Uh, you don't have to do this. Um, I should. I should probably. Uh, sorry for sorry for, sorry for getting into code on this video. Um, so anyway, so let's just keep this as the completion so we can sort of see what's going on here. Um, okay, compared to professional being a musician. So this is the context that's coming from the user request, right? So first it sees my user request, what happened to FIFA context. Then it does the search. This is RAG, okay? It brings back this into the context. It says windfall for FIFA, made a financial loss, blah, 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 blah. And then it does a thinking step. It goes, okay, write a numbered list of exactly four critical questions. Um, and it generates a list of questions. So what is the exact financial loss? Uh, because this is for missing information, right? So, um, so what is the exact financial loss the city hosting World Cup incurred? How does 163 million um, for players compared to the revenue generated by FIFA, what is the difference between FIFA and the city hosting the World Cup in terms of financial gain? And what is the analogy between being a professional musician and a professional soccer player, and why is it problematic? So compared being a professional musician to being a professional soccer player, and there's a sort of long, a lot wrong with that analogy, but you let's go. Okay, so, so there's the context, and it's creating these questions off of the context in my user request because this is going in a in an order right then I go a sec so so then it's running each over here and it's going answer context answer from memory self question self context so we can see basically everything that it's thinking on every step answering each one of those questions putting out the answer okay this is the this specific question was what is the difference between the right we, we saw that one above so it's answering your critical question FIFA made $7.6 billion in revenue while the city hosting the World Cup incurred a financial loss. So that's that. It's only grabbing the first top three because uh, our, our model on here, uh, is a, it only has, it has a short context window of, um, of 2048. So uh, 2048 tokens. Um, and the last one was it analogy between being a professional. So compared to being a professional, blah, there's that musicians to those media conglomerates and they actually have the balls to penalize musicians with monetary fines. And this witch hunt potentially means that over half the musicians and streaming servers are paying money for you to pay money to listen to their music. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty crazy. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But anyway, um, so here we go, answer. And then it, it comes up with the answer for that specific question. And then in the end, uh, it finalizes with a summary, which summarizes basically a uh, concise single paragraph, your answer is above and attempts to fulfill the user request. So asks again what, the, what this is, just to get it back into the, um, back into just the most recent context, right? Because the user request is actually stated above in the very beginning. So there's like a lot of little magic here going on behind the scenes with just prompting. Um, so maybe we could do, uh, 
maybe we could do another one or you know whatever but the point is is that you can run this yourself uh, you just go uh, to the uh, to the collab link and you can you can ask your own questions about whatever from whatever video you want and that's that thanks for watching